Welcome back, this is part 9 and you can see I've closed off the wall inside my hallway and I did that because there was a bit of a change in plans because my lights didn't work out so well. So in the next clip it's going to take you back a couple days ago and I was talking about how disappointing these were. I was going to show you the lights in my gnome home, the way they look when they're not lit up and I can't because I hid them all. And so we can't, we can't see they are. And unfortunately, I can't remember what brand I bought because I had gotten the other ones at Home Depot a couple of years ago. So I completely at a loss to what those were. And these ones are very tiny little bulbs. And I think these are what they consider fairy lights. So I'll just let you watch the next clip and you can see what I'm talking about. I got my lights today. And I'm a little bit disappointed because they're not exactly what I thought they were. Uh, they are 33 feet and they do light up, <laughs> but they're not like the ones in my gnome home. So I'm going to show you what I mean. I just um, put lights in that room there and I doubled them up. I did two strings on one on this wall here just to give it more light. So I'm going to turn off the lights and show you. I think it looks... If it looks like what I'm looking at in my screen, it looks a little bit brighter on the screen. It's actually not that bright. And I'll show you my gnome home. See, the, it's a huge difference. I love the lights in my gnome home. They, they do the job perfectly. Alright, one more change of plan here. Because my lights didn't work out, I'm going to go ahead and close off this wall. And then I'm just going to leave this open. And because my door is a jar back there. I can get lights through there if I change my mind on the lights and then I can just work them into the ceiling because part of this is going to drop down and we won't see those lights in the ceiling. And I just want to light up the rooms. I don't want to have lights that they that they turn on and off like per se like you know those lights on the wall and stuff. I don't really care about that. I just want to have a house that lights up in the nighttime. So yeah that's what I'm going to do. Okay so I'm going to show you real quick. This wall is going to be forever sitting protected inside the tree. Same way I did the ceiling. I'm going to do the tin foil on the wall and then I'm going to cover it with that spackle stuff and then I'll paint it. And it's never really going to be touched so I'm not worried about it cracking. Because remember when I showed you on that door there that the wall, if I bent it, the spackle would crack but it's not going to here but if it did if I was worried about this wall moving at all I would put cardboard in there but I'm not going to worry about that so I'm going to hot glue all the edges in place on the outside I'm going to run a bead of glue hot glue down in between the wall and the stairs then I'm going to put my masking tape Okay, all my tape is in place and that feels really good. This wall feels pretty sturdy. So now I will, in the last clip I said tape and then spackle, but actually I have to do the layer of paper towel again. And I'll be doing paper towel on the inside. I could definitely use newspaper on the outside, but like I said, I prefer paper towel. You'll notice that I toned down the walls. I could no longer work in the dark blue it was becoming distracting so I knew I was going to lighten them up but last night I just decided to stop everything and go ahead and do that so I did a whitewash on the walls and look very pretty and there'll be more done to the walls as we continue on in the project but today my paper towel is dry and this wall feels very very good it's really stuck in there now of course if I push on this side I can push it in a little bit, but not too much. So it's pretty solid. So now I'm going to add my drywall compound. So I brought out the big guns this time, and I'm just going to spread this around in there. And then after it's dry, I'm going to paint it. So this is how I applied the other wall. I just took a piece of cardboard, and I'm using it like a spatula, or spatula, whatever you call it, and I'm just spreading it in there. So I got the compound all over the walls and to get around my stairs I just used a paintbrush and I carefully um, pushed it into place and now I'm going to have to take a q-tip 
and get all the um, stuff that spilled over onto the stairs wiped off. Alright, so I chose a cream color paint over that and then I varnished over that. And that wall actually feels pretty sturdy. Um, the material, all the material I guess, and the varnish, everything combined just hardens up the wall even more. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to end the video here and you can head on over to part 10 where I'm working on the next room.